Hello friends, this is Jimmy from Can Have an Immigration Canada. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about some of the uh, political uh, environment right now within Canada. As everybody knows, all of you guys probably know that Canada is going through the elections right now. The federal elections are going to held on October the 21st of 2019. So all of the big parties are making new promises for the new immigrants who are already here or for the prospective uh, immigrants from each and every country of the world like they want to bring them here they want to increase the diversity in Canada as everybody knows Canada is a diverse country so uh, if we look at the some of those uh, new details that are coming through this uh, political scenario or this political environment at this moment or now the current uh, leader for the liberal party who is also prime minister of canada justin trudeau uh, he has promised that from as you guys know they have uh, increased the number of immigrants in the earlier years to 350000 per year now from year 2022 and 2023 they want to increase the level of new immigrants that they bring through the various programs uh, of immigration. They want to increase from 350,000 to 400,000 a year. So that's what the plans are. The government has already announced that if they are re-elected, Justin Trudeau is being, if he said he's being re-elected for the uh, position of the prime minister again, if their party comes to power, they will increase the number of immigrant coming to Canada per year from 350,000 to 400,000. So it means like the draws of express entry will be bigger. Provincial nominations will also be getting big numbers like there are restrictions now. Some of the provinces are restricted to 5,500, 6,000 a year. So those numbers are probably going to go up. We might see an increase. Uh, so the current uh, level is still around 350,000 as of this year and uh, by 2021. But after 2021, uh, the Justin Trudeau has said they will increase the level of uh, immigration, the number of immigration from 350,000 to 400,000. So that was a little update from... Uh, the political environment that is going through now. Again, I just want to tell you guys, there are two parties right now. They are neck to neck. Again, the party of Justin Trudeau, the Liberal Party, and the Conservative Party, Andrew Scheer. They are fighting neck to neck. So any of this government will come. The immigration is not going to hurt because even we have seen in the time of uh, Mr. Harper, he was the Prime Minister before Justin Trudeau, if we look at the policy of their policies as well as the liberal policies, they are almost exactly the same. There's a little bit difference here and there, number of immigrants and the number of PNPs they are going through. There are some of the pilot programs that has been introduced in the last four years that are also in the market right now. So these are some of the changes. Uh, and uh, Justin Trudeau also tell that they will also make this Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program permanent because it's right now it's a pilot program and if they said if their government is coming into power next four years, the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program will be permanent. So that will be on an ongoing basis as, as we all know the LMIA process is always there whenever somebody needs a foreign worker they can do it. And same as the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, there has been on the pilot, but they said they will make it a permanent. So this was a little update. I'll keep you guys updated if there will be anything else comes up in the market. Till then, you guys all have a good day. Thank you.